NCERT Physics Class 11, Fourth Chapter, Motion in a Plane, Question Number 4.31. So in this, a cyclist is riding with a speed of 27 km per hour, approaches a circular turn on the road of radius 80 meter. He applies the brake, and his speed reduces at a at a rate of 0.5 meter per second. What is the magnitude and direction of net acceleration of the cyclist? So when brakes are applied, the speed will reduce. In this case, the particle will have, the cyclist have both acceleration, which are radial and tangential. So initially it was moving on a straight, straight line. When the circular track comes, the speed reduces at a rate of 0.5 meter per second square. So from this data, we can say that tangential acceleration Suppose at this point, this is the direction of velocity. So tangential acceleration is opposite to speed. Tangential acceleration is opposite to velocity as brakes are applied. In this case, speed would reduce. So this, this is the direction of tangential acceleration, which is opposite to velocity and acceleration. Tangential acceleration has values that is equal to 0.5 meter per second square. Tangential acceleration has value 0.5 meter per second square. The particle has both tangential and radial acceleration. This is radial acceleration, which is AC or centripetal acceleration, which is represented by AC or AR. So this would be your net acceleration. This is net acceleration. So the value of AC at given instant is equal to V square by R. So in this case, V is equal to 27 km per hour, which can be written as 7.5 meter per second. So acceleration radial is equal to centripetal acceleration is equal to V square by R. This can be written as 7.5 whole square by radius, which is equal to 80 meter. So this acceleration comes out to be 0 0.7 meter per second square. So we have centripetal acceleration 0 0.7 and tangential 0 0.5. So from this, we can find out the value of net acceleration. That is net acceleration is equal to under root of AC whole square plus AT whole square. So this is equal to under root 0 0.7 whole square plus 0 0.5 whole square. On solving this, we have net acceleration is equal to 0 0.86 meter per second square. And in order to find the direction, let's say the acceleration makes an angle, net acceleration makes an angle theta with radius. So we can find out the value of theta as 10 theta is equal to perpendicular upon base. So in this perpendicular is AT and base is AC. This is equal to 0 0.5 upon 0 0.7. So from this theta is equal to 10 inverse 5 by 7. Note that theta is angle of net acceleration with centripetal acceleration.